So we just got finished looking at the devastation on that apartment way back there in the back. Mm -hmm. And this sister right here came out of this apartment right here. She said she was in the house when the tornado came on this past Monday. So I know you were afraid, huh? Not really. I was praying that God to take care of me. See, that's all we do around mm -hmm. here. God is always in control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any children with you or older no. people? I got grown children, but when they weren't none of them here at my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it came through pretty loud, huh? Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. But thank God you're alive. Glory be to God. Praise That's him. all you can say, Annie. Mm -hmm. Thank you for allowing me to talk to you for a couple of minutes. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. second or another minute not an hour or another day but at this moment with my arms outstretched I need you to make a way as you have done so many times before through a window or an open door I stretch my hands to Come rescue me, I need you right away. I need you now. I need you now. I need you now. I need you now. second or another minute not an hour of another day but Searching the world for more of the truest friend I have indeed. You're my best friend. I know in me. I stretch my hands to thee. Come rescue me. I need you right away.
strokes before back when I was a child because, you know, we didn't have much then. And mm -hmm. uh, now the, these kids are experiencing what I experienced as a child with uh, no lights and no water and no bathroom facilities and all that, you know. I'm here with Miss Jenny Cox over on Veterans Boulevard. We just wanted to talk to her a little while. And she already knows that God is good because she has a roof over her head. She lost all of her property. We've got her granddaughter, her daughter. They're here. Great grandson. Great grandson. We've got a beautiful dog outside. I have to get him on the way out. And I understand they found him under. Did you find him? Yeah, under a utility uh, storage building. Found him under, and he and was, was fine. She was trapped. She was trapped, and uh, she was whining, and they had to jack the uh, foundation up, mm -hmm. that which was all that was left. And when they uh, got it, got her released, she come out just happy as a bar. Oh, that's a so, strong dog. Oh, and you lost one? Yeah, we lost one, but she was old and. Uh, already sickly so mm -hmm. uh, but from the looks of where she was and all we think that the wind just picked her up and, and maybe she just had a heart attack or something. So you were in the house when all this was going on? Me and my grandson it's 35 years old and then his son this one is 14 years old and we were all three in the bathtub. You were all three in the bathtub? Mm -hmm. All three in the bathtub mm -hmm. and, and we uh, the house just shook like a, I don't, like an earthquake, really. They say it sounds like a train, but it was much louder and, and stronger than, than the noise of a train. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could hear the nails all pulling out of the, uh, the nail holes, you know, and the roof lifting off, and trees hitting my house and hitting the windows and the glass breaking and all that. So once the roof was gone, then the uh, um, ceiling started beginning to get wet from the rain, and then it started caving in on us and falling, and, and the insulation and all uh, just plastered my hair. And, uh, I looked like I don't know what, but we was alive. Amen. And uh, shortly after the all of the uh, wind and rain settled down a little bit for well, one of our black neighbors uh, that was real good buddies with Jacob there, the grandson. They came running up into the front door hollering, Jacob, are you all right? And so thank goodness they come in to help us. Young get kids. Out. Uh, the, the man and his little boy about age of Jacob's age or somewhere thereabouts. It's amazing how it appears that tragedy brings us together. Oh yeah. But a lot of times we're already together. It's just that it doesn't show. Oh yeah. Well, until there's a tragedy. Well, they're good. The kids are good friends. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, and, but they had to move because they was in a rental house and uh, when uh, it did too much damage for them to get it repaired the other way. So I don't know where they went, but I'll miss mm -hmm. them. I'm sure they'll come back and check on you. But I'm just glad to be able to interview you today. I'm Rosalind, Miss Jenny Cox. I'm so glad to be able to interview you and that God did take you away and give you so many more years to be here with your grandkids and your great grandkids. Exactly and right. as you were mentioning, they experienced some of the things that we experienced a long time ago. No That's electricity, true. no water. That's but true. at the same time, it could be worse. It could be worse. Because there are some people who don't have anything. We could have been maimed, crippled, or Mm -hmm. You know, trapped in as a cave. If the roof had to come inward instead of off, we would have been trapped. Well, yes, ma'am. No telling when we would have gotten out. Mm -hmm. And you still have the activity of all your limbs. Mm -hmm. You didn't get hit in the head. You're still sane. Yeah. So we're just thankful. Yeah. And thank you so much for the interview. I'm going to film your beautiful dog on the way out. All right. Okay. You're thank quite you. welcome. Thank you. Glad you come by. Okay. So we have this beautiful dog here, and I'm Ken, what's your name? Jacob. Jacob. So your dog was found under the utility shed, and she, or he, is this a boy? Girl. Girl. She is so pretty. What's her name? Sassy. Hey, Sassy. Sassy, we're so glad you're okay. So there's a lot of devastation around here. Yeah. 
But at the same time, as we were yeah. saying with Miss Cox, everybody lived and three of them were in the bathtub and they survived this tornado. And they have a fabulous place to stay. They are blessed. They are blessed tremendously. I take your healing on We have Hillcrest Church of Baldwin, Hillcrest Church of Christ of Baldwin, and they are feeding all the employees that are out here helping to clean. We're so grateful just to have them. How are you doing today? Good, so you're you. one of our FEMA. Yes, yeah. thank you. Okay. Happy to be here. It's a wonderful job you guys are doing providing the food for us. Thank you. Okay, and you're from the Tupelo area? Um, I'm actually I'm assigned Itawamba County. Oh, okay. I'm working in this community right here helping people recover um, from the recent storms. Okay, great. Thank you so yeah, much for coming out helping us. You're welcome. Thank you. There's Miss Francis over there. And that's her fabulous husband. Aren't they the cutest couple? <laughs> So any of you guys mind if I just kind of film you? And it's everybody from... I'm supposed to smile? So where is everybody from? From Jersey. You're from Jersey? Los Angeles, Jersey. Oh, you're from LA. Okay. Not Los Angeles over there. Jersey right there. Arkansas. Arkansas in the house. New York. Virginia. Virginia in the house. Illinois. Oh, Illinois. Okay, okay. All right, guys, I'm back there. Let's see, what, what do we have over here? I'm not working. You're not working, you're just eating? Well, you're from the Houston schools. I am, I grew up. In the corner. Of the house oh, okay, right there. okay. Yeah, she grew up right there. Okay. There used to be a store she used to her in her pantry. Oh, All right, Houston School. So, this is the man that's trying to make me eat and charge me for interviews. So, where are you from? Uh, I am from Boston. How y'all doing? You're from Boston. Okay, okay. And where are you from? I'm from Rochester, New York. Rochester. And where are you from? I'm from Minnesota. Minnesota. I'm from Southern California. Southern Cal. We got SoCal in the house. <laughs> Not down around San Diego. Fires. No. There was a fire by my house earlier, but that was a few weeks ago. Okay, now what part is SoCal? Uh, Rancho Cucamonga by oh, Ontario. Okay. <laughs> We're so glad you guys came down south to hang out with us. We're happy to be here, happy to help. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. So there's all kinds of food over here. All of this food, Hillcrest, Church of Christ. <laughs> What is the NCC? What does it stand for? NCCC? So what is that? I think it's the National National Civilian Community Board. What does that stand for? National Civilian Community. Oh, National Civilian Community. Okay, all right. And what is this on your hat here? This is AmeriCorps. Okay. AmeriCorps. Yeah, we're serving around the country for the next 10 months. Okay, okay. College students? Um, post and, I mean, before college as well. So all different ages, 18 to 24. Okay, that's wonderful. Yeah. So are you enjoying being out here in the country? Definitely. It's been a great experience. Okay. It's not like being in Jersey. <laughs> Jersey. <Nope. laughs> Oh, so we have another volunteer agency here. I'm, I'm already, I'm, I'm from so what New Jersey. What does that stand for? The acronym on the back of your shirt? Um, Nahama is uh, Hebrew for comfort. Comfort, okay. All right, let's look at that again. Okay, all hands volunteers, that's a different one? Yep, let's see. All hands volunteers, that's wonderful. 
We're glad to have you down here helping us out. We got FEMA in the house. FEMA in the house. FEMA in the house. Yes, National <laughs> Department of Homeland Security. We're keeping you secure. Thank you. We appreciate that. Right. You cleaned that plate, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Ooh, look at all this food. Yeah, more. Good job. Thank you. The food, the food is excellent. The food is fantastic. Thank you. Right, great. Right. Wonderful every day. Isn't it so nice that they're feeding? Very nice, yes. yes. We yes. appreciate it very much. It's so nice that you guys are out here doing this. You do any of the cooking? You did a little bit of the cooking? Yeah. So you've been here every week? Thank you, Miss Chapman. How are you, sir? Hey, how are you doing? I'm this is the minister. I'm the preacher, Russ Vickers. I'm the preacher of the Hillcrest Church of Christ. Thank you, Mr. Pastor Vickers, for doing great things. That is so Appreciate wonderful. It. So you guys have been out here just about every week feeding the uh, the workers? Yes, ma'am. It's, it's been a good labor and uh, good work, and we're happy to be here. And uh, we appreciate everybody helping out and working in this area. It's, it's, it's been a real blessing. Mm -hmm. God is good, isn't he? He is, all the I time. You, all the time, all God the is time. good. I'm not eating today. You, you keep trying to make me eat. And I think I told you I was watching my weight. Yeah. You know, I just, I just finished <laughs> breakfast. Well, I've been here since the beginning. You You've been here since the beginning? Yeah, uh, Ozark Church of Christ. Okay, Ozark Church of, Church of Christ. That's where you from. Okay, Ozark. How far is Ozark from here? About a, right mile. Up, about a mile. Down 371. Okay. And that's Miss Francis over there. Yes, we've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed helping the help. It's great.
How y'all doing? We here live at the block of 400, long time. Yeah, I love to be on TV. Yeah, this is my cousin, my family up here. Here we go. 